His name is Ish Berry, and this is Berry Media Unrestricted. He explores the city of Houston, looking for people who are not afraid to get unrestricted. Interesting men and women who have an extraordinary journey, doing the kind of things that make great stories to tell for the rest of us. Now get ready for Unrestricted. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Unrestricted Podcast. I'm your host, Ish Berry, and joining me, America's favorite co-host and booty for, I mean, beautiful, Miss <laughs> <laughs> Blue. Thank you. Um, today's episode is going to be about America's obsession with ass. And this actually hit me earlier this year because everyone's obsessed with ass, mm -hmm. you know, men, women, whatever. Hell, I work in retail, nine to five job, and went on my job, compliment each other's ass and stuff. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> or one of them would say, girl, I need to hit the gym because, you know, my, my booty is this, that, and the other. So I want to <laughs> right. take a time to, you know, I like talking about off the wall topics and stuff like this. So, Boo, I get right to it. What do you think America's obsession in this modern era that we live in of ass started from? Um, I think the times have changed. The generations have changed in what men like in the standard of beauty. Mm -hmm. And it used to honestly be the thin uh, supermodel type of chicks that was considered society standard of beauty. Mm -hmm. Even in videos, you saw like the, the artists that looked like Maya. And yeah. a lot of the artists were skinny, um, fair-skinned women. And then I just, I hate to say it, but then I kind of love to see the switch. I feel like the era of the Buffy the Body's video vixens, I think um, that's shifted the yeah. big butt era. And I feel like men especially wanted women with big asses. And so women caught on to that, and they was like, I'm going to go get my ass done. So BBLs had become like a... I mean, it, it's, it's really a popular procedure. Oh, yeah, BB, BBLs are the number yes. one cosmetic procedure in the United States. You yes, know, and it's not going anywhere. Because men, they glorify, they are attracted, they spend money. They, I'm talking about lots of money on these women with these nice, round asses. So what are you going to do if you got the money? You're going to go get your ass done. I, I like to say this. If, you're, if a woman is standing on the side of the road, and she, uh, <laughs> if a woman is sitting on the side of the road, a man will stop if you have an ass, period. You go, he's going to, you know, give you a ride to your destination. But if a woman have a super huge ass, that man going to get out his car and give it to her. <laughs> Why, Dicey and I said something similar <laughs> yesterday because I was like, you know, like in my store, if an old person comes and asks me, hey, where's the peanut butter at? I'll tell them, like, oh, it's on A8, aisle 8, <laughs> right. you know. But then someone like you come in, oh, where's the peanut butter? Oh, let me take you and show you. <laughs> and then get to the aisle. We have Jeff. We have Peter. That Hayes, is so true. We have Great Value. Yes. Uh, would you like me to have this uh, delivered to your car right now? Like, <laughs> I don't know what that happened. And my son got mad, like, he even said it. And I said, don't be disrespectful. He said, nah, I'm not letting him make it. He was... <laughs> He told. He said you could just point it. You just trying to. I just, just saying like, oh, eight. Said, <laughs> you know, all eight is straight down to. Right. Your head, I told you know. him, don't be rude. But he, you know that. But it's the truth. And just from some, just a simple story like that is why, the obsession is growing even stronger. These men, bow down. They accept your bullshit. If your ass is big, they're gonna accept a lot more shit from you. Mm, they can lie all they want to say that that's not. It's big booty privilege, like it's pretty woman privilege. Oh, for sure. Yes. And one thing I know is because I remember <laughs> back in the nineties, like you said, it was about the skinny models. It was. And then when breast implants became popular, because I'm about to name a couple of women who kind of dominated Hollywood in the nineties, and all of them had large breast implants: Pamela Anderson, mm -hmm. Jenny McCarthy, uh, Anna Nicole Smith. Um, darn, see my. There's another one missing. I had I had named some before when I was on the phone with Norris earlier on my way up here, you know. And it's like, you know, Pamela Anderson was the hottest thing Baywatch, and she did a couple of movies or whatever. Oh, another one, Carmen Electra. Mm. You know, Carmen Electra, small frame, you know, big oversized tits right. for her frame and everything, you know. And then it's like, when the 2000s came, 
and I think because of hip hop, it switched. It and two things I think that happened that caught people's attention. Number one, when 50 Cent put Buffy the Body in that video, what Buffy had on that elegant dress and she was playing pool, because when that yes. video dropped, people didn't give a damn. Much respect to 50 Cent. He's our neighbor now. He lives in Houston. <laughs> no, I bought a house out there. Was not you, so know, much. And, <laughs> you know, people didn't give a damn about 50 Cent. Some people was like, who's that woman in the evening dress? You know, playing pool. <laughs> and Buffy the Body was pretty much born. And another thing, too, that someone brought to my attention was the VMAs with J-Lo wore that green dress. Mm. And everybody realized, like, shit. J-Lo got ass, you know, and it's a mm -hmm. lot, you know. Right. And granted, J-Lo had her career before that, you know, she played Selena. She was on A Living Color as, a, as one of the Fly Girls. She did um, um, a couple of other movies and stuff, but when she wore that green dress at the VMAs, and everybody was like, God damn, right. you know. And then from hip-hop, you had the, the normal rotation of video vixens like, Esther Baxter, Kai Toy, Buffy. Melissa Ford. Melissa Ford, that was the other one I was going to name. You know, they were all over the scene. And, and um, yeah, and then when the illegal butt injections, because back in the day, people don't know this, but to get a BBL was super expensive. It wasn't as affordable oh, as it expensive. is now, you yes. know. Now you can do this shit, a payment Which is plan. Which why a lot of them are getting BBLs as well, because you can go to Miami and the right doctor, you can literally get a BBL on a payment plan for oh, yeah. fifty five hundred. Pay half, and then the half when you get there. Yeah. And so, I mean, who's not? If that's what your thing is, who's not? Again, these men are paying extreme bills for the women that have these round ass booties. There's just it's they they are winning. They winning. Yeah, yeah. And one of the things that gets me is like. Where and I'm not complaining at all, but I'm mm -hmm. you know, we just talking this shit and it's like even sometimes like I'm at work and you can kinda tell sometime when a woman had a BBL because skinny legs and in the you know, it's just all in the right. cheeks, you know. And I'm just like, where does it stop it? Because like I look at some women, it's like I could tell this woman you didn't had about two or three rounds of a BBL. So mm -hmm. it's like and even looking on sites like Instagram and TikTok, it's like where does it stop at? You know what I mean? <laughs> you, get, you know, it's like, and, and I get it because like anytime you get plastic surgery, especially if everything goes smoothly, you like the results, you look, people people give you confidence and stuff and then it's like, oh, well, damn, if I look like this now, I wait, save up some more money, get some more done, then I look even right. better. I'm taking it up to Annie, you know? Right. Cause I mean, you've you've had work done, and you already want to go back and get some more, right? I'm yes. <laughs> yes. If I was rich, I I mean, I don't want to say I stay, but I'd be always major like doing improvements. I don't. I'm not. I'm not someone that's like gonna sit here and say bash people that's getting BBLs or mm -hmm. no, getting cosmetic no, no, surgery. It's the ones that clearly you see like it's a horrible job. Mm. And you like this girl don't have no friends because she thinks she's the baddest thing walking, and her booty look like one cheek going to the south side, the other one is on the east side. Yeah. And then you looking like, nah, sis, you need to get back in there. And I think oh, that's the Doctor Miami. People, yeah, people not, people, people not doing their due diligence and research on the doctors, you know, and they're taking mm. the cheap route, you know, instead of staying in the country or in their own city, and you know, uh, you know. At least in the country, you know, and getting because right. you know, here we got the FDA, and not every doctor here in the states is, you know, a hundred percent legit. There's, you know, like I watch Botch. That's one of my guilty pleasures, and there's a lot of doctors here in the United mm. States that fuck people up. I mean, you know, true. But you really gotta do your research, and mm. sometimes, especially with the price of it, it's too good to be true. The chances are it, it is, you know. That's the reason why this doctor's doing a BBL for eight hundred. Like, ho hold on, there's, you know, yeah, that's so. Um, you you yeah. have to when when you're doing the surgeries, it's so important to research. And what I personally do myself is I am nosy. I go to Instagram and I go to the patients that they've had. If their page is um, a private page, I request them so that I could ask them a question. Yeah, you would be surprised how many doctors that I chose. 
and I spoke to a patient and they told me don't. Like I'm not happy with my job. Like literally when That's I went and got yes, when I went and got my surgery done, it was because I had a guest from my show who I could yeah, see the, um, and talk to. Yeah, the iPhone 360. I could, I could, I saw her results. I followed up with her. She told me her doctor, and I was like, okay, I, I will go to see her doctor. So with that being said, you have to really do your research, ladies, when you're trying to get these surgeries. But some women are so obsessed, they don't care that they got a bad uh, BBL done. They just know that they got more back there than what they started out with. And believe mm -hmm. it or not, some guys are just so hard up that they don't even care how the BBL is done. It could be the sloppiest thing. They just that obsessed with ass that they they will run they will get into a whole car wreck <laughs> watching somebody's ass. Y'all y'all need to stop that. Yeah. If, they, if men wasn't so crazy about these big old asses, women was wouldn't even get them done. You think so? You think it's I'm us? Not, it's more. It's more of the men. Like someone was saying, I don't care what a woman yeah. say. Women do not get cosmetic surgery to look good for another woman. But y'all do other things for other women. Y'all do nails and feet. I do stuff. nails for Miss Blue, baby. Okay. Like, I don't, I'm I don't saying, do nails I'm on, for I'm my... just saying, like, on average, because I tell you what, and I say this periodically all the time, I'll be 40 years old next month, right? Mm -hmm. In my, let's just round up and I say, look, look, in my 39 years of living, I have never heard a guy say, hey, Ish, man, I was at the store today and I seen this beautiful woman. Oh, really? What she look like? Man. Her her fucking nails were were immaculate. We don't give a fuck about nails. Y'all don't you know care about mean? nails, but we, we do. spend nine times out of ten. So we do saying, though. Most women like for get their nails for themselves or for other for other women. You know what I mean? Like, but this ass, mm -hmm. these asses is not being done for other women. Other women, unless they're like, if you're like a lesbian, mm -hmm. or um, then I can see you wanting to care about another woman. Yeah. Men are housing women, buying them Bugattis and Lambos because of a big old fat ass. I see it for myself. So no, they're, you, you make a they're good, getting yeah, it because make... sugar daddies, these men go crazy over big ass. The obsession starts with the men. Now the women are even more obsessed with getting you know, these asses. You know who on. I wish was here right now? I really wish I could have had Pebbles on here because when I had Pebbles on last year, she talked about her injections like, how she got them done, you mm -hmm. know. She said she was at um, Harlem Nights. She seen a woman with a fat ass. Went to her. She's like, "Hey, I want what you got." And she's <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, "Basically, I'm making a long story yeah. short." Yeah, and one was like, "Oh, okay. Well, I get injections. Just whoop de woo and they introduce people, whatever." But the whole point I'm trying to say is like, I really the one question I didn't ask Pebbles when I had on is like, what made her go so big? Mm. Because you know. Like I said in another episode, and Pebble said on her episode when I asked her her measurements, she has a 26-inch waist mm -hmm. and a 53-inch ass. So, and remember, I called it back in the day. You used to call me crazy because Pebbles would take a little break from social media, come back, right. and the ass was bigger. And I'm like, man, I think her ass is growing. And you like, no, that's just camera angles right. or the clothes. And now that, you know, like, I had an interview with her, she was like, yeah, she was, you know, repeatedly getting right. injections. So it's like... I wonder if some women, like you said, they figure, oh, the bigger my butt, the more money, the more opportunities, I think, or what? I you know, I don't so. want to assume, yeah. but, you know, is it an ego trip, or is it like what Jackie said about body dysmorphia? dysmorphia? Will my ass ever be big enough? You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Um, hmm. I mean, I don't think in this situation, I don't mm -hmm. think it's no right or wrong answer. Yeah. I think, like you said, every woman... If you talk to 10 women, it might be 10 different reasons why. That's good. I point, mean, yeah. I just, for my opinion and what I've seen, uh, strippers or just women, period, I've seen them be housed and bills and these men oh, yeah, put up with all types of shit from, a, from stuff a woman when, if you got yeah. a big ass. It's, it's, no, no, it's I mean, I true. see it. I, you know, I follow these IG models and stuff, and I'm looking, I'm like, okay, yeah, you've gotten repeated BBLs, and then, you know, women show how they're living. You know, they're driving around in these Mercedes and, and living in high bills. rises. And, yeah, they eating at five, six-star restaurants and shit, taking hey. trips to Dubai and shit. And I ain't knocking. I'm yes. like, hey, I mean, you know. And you think they having to pay money for this? That's Even if they not. bought the Lambo, it's a, it's a dude out there paying the Lambo note. Yeah, because of that. And still, ass even being big. even if they said, even if they have an OnlyFans and they pumping out content, that too, that still 
is someone else paying for it in a sense. You know, like, hey, you take some pictures, you do some sexy videos a couple of times a month, you upload it to OnlyFans or your site, mm -hmm. and guys pay a subscription. And, of course, some, you know, a lot of women do custom stuff where a guy's like, hey, I want to see you eating a banana or whatever, you know? I mean, And I'll pay you money for that, and they get an extra money, you know? And, of course, you got guys that got a lot of money that are single and no kids. It's like, hey, I just want to spend time with you. I live in New York. I'll fly you out, and we can, you know, go to the top of the Empire State Building. Mm -hmm. I'll take you around town, yada, and yada. And people, they're just crazy with these big big asses like i had an ass fetish someone had an ass fetish for me no oh, i was at a party playing a game mm -hmm. and they were like this guy was so obsessed with my ass and i was like what's really going on and he was like they were like um in this game it was like you you know um we just want to see you with your thumb going y'all know i'm wild and crazy if you don't know oh, i'm wild shit. and crazy this man said he had a whole fetish of eating a banana from a woman's ass that's big, like putting the banana yeah. in the, inside of the ass crack. Yeah. That was his fetish mm. with the whipped cream. That don't sound bad. So I let him do it. Damn. <laughs> well, hey, my birthday's next month, and I'll be full. That was, I told you, that was, no, that was my crazy psycho days. Well, I mean, mm -mm. don't, I'm not sure. don't be a Negro, be my nigga. And let me do it. <laughs> No. Let me do that for my for no. birthday. Come on. This but is look, four zero. No, look, but this is the I point. work at a store, I bought a banana yeah, with cream. I, I, I can buy a damn banana. I mean, but look, fucked up. But do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like I how see. obsessed. Do you know how crazy it is? I, so I'm even crazy. I'm even crazy for allowing it. But that party, they went crazy. They were yeah. sitting on tables screaming. I'm like the life of the party though, y'all. You know, speaking of men, uh -huh. I want to talk about something I saw at my store one day. So Long story short, I was at work one day, and out the corner of my eye, I see someone about your height with a fat ass. Mm. And I could spot your ass, boo, because, you know, we work together on different photo shoots and oh, you know, stuff. And yes. I see your, you know, I can identify your ass the way it looks from a mile away, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm looking, I'm like, damn, that can't be boo, because if you came to my store, I think you would call right. me. Like, I would. Like, hey, I'm in the area, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. Okay. So I happen to, like, really... Once I turn around and look, it's a dude. It's I swear to God, it's like a dude about your height, 5'3". That's crazy. He had on shorts, but get this. He wasn't like a feminine-looking dude. Like, he had on shorts. Oh, wait a minute. He had, on, okay. he had on khaki shorts with a belt, shirt tucked in. He had a small waist. Um, you know, his legs were hairy. He's about your complexion. Mm -hmm. You know, a chocolate complexion, that's what threw me off at first before I really just looked. And I'm like, this, this guy, walk, and then actually his face, he had like a full beard and everything. Wore oh, glass. Wow. I'm like, this dude is walking around here with the ass like a fucking female. Yes. And not just any female, but boo. <laughs> like, I swear to God, I really yeah. thought. If one of my coworkers, which they do sometimes, they'll sneak and take pictures of customers uh -huh. and someone would have shown me, I would have been like, oh, Blue was here. And I would have called you, like, girl, what you doing? Yeah. My store didn't hit me up or whatever. Like, his ass, like, he had your, you know, like, how your ass looks, like, the roundness yeah. and the poking out and everything. And I'm just like. That is they, crazy. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, but he look like, if you look at from the front, he's like, just a regular masculine dude and I'm just and like actually mm -hmm. I had to stop what I was doing and he was in the middle of the aisle and he went to self checkout bought his stuff and then he went and I, I ain't gonna lie people could think what they want about me I actually watched like I was just in awe like I'd never seen yeah, a masculine hey. looking dude with cakes like a fucking female so he's you probably know. one of those guys that hog the glutes machine at Planet Fitness I was talking about. <laughs> I knew he was going to sit down. No, I'm going to say that. Because it's, it is a, a, a thing ass. that guys will hog the glute machines at the gyms. And these are guys that are masculine men. Yeah. And I'm like, what is the obsession with having a big butt as a man? I've, I've heard some women, and women in my job talked about this, and I see it sometimes. So, so, there are women out there that like a dude with a fat ass. <laughs> Do, what, uh, let me ask you, do you like a dude with a fat ass? Or don't, you don't care about I don't that? Care. Okay, so don't you don't care. care. Okay, but, I mean, you got enough ass for you. You are so, you ass. know, it's, so, it's crazy. <laughs> and I, and I got something to say to okay, you. Okay, so yeah. Since Instagram, I went to my very old page, and I'm talking about 2012, 2013. You yeah. have always had ass jokes. Oh, I got oh, Instagram. I, I got a screenshot. It, one yes. of them had me rolling. I said, this fool always been crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, I do that shit at work. You know, I, I say oh, that shit all the time. Yeah, man. that's I, funny. I do jokes at work and, and you know, <laughs> uh, you know, t t t 
me and Dicey was talking yesterday and I had told Dicey to wear something that's going to break the internet and, you know, we were going through prep mm-hmm. and she's just like, oh, I know what you wanted. When well, you said you want the girls out and I was like, you know Ooh. me so well. Damn straight. I thank you for wearing that outfit and showing my mother's <laughs> off. Right. Shit, but, you know, and we got to the point in society where even men want to have a fat ass. That's very true. And actually, speaking of Dicey, the guy who did her tummy tuck, um, a doctor here in Houston by the name of, I, I kind of, ironically enough, I can't make this up, the guy name is Dr. George Washington. I follow him <laughs> on Instagram. Like the way like I the get president. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like the president, the America's first president. <laughs> and he did a post not too long ago earlier this year about BBLs for men. So men are getting BBLs, and like with your oh. experience at the gym, men are hogging they all are, the though. group machines. They are. They now, they I, are. I do have to wonder why that is. Now, I can understand if a guy is a competitive bodybuilder. And maybe they are, and I don't know. Okay. Something Because these are guys that, like, muscles are, that's why I get mad, because I'd be like, bro, you have muscles on top of your own muscles. Oh, okay, so they swell. And so okay. you're still hogging the group machine over an hour, what are you trying? What type of butt are you trying to get? Damn. I'm like jealous. Like damn, I want to get. I'm trying to work on my booty, and you're <laughs> hogging it. That's why I stopped messing with Planet Fitness because it was like that at every location. I kid damn. you not. Yes, every location. Yeah, you gotta fight them dudes that, over that. That made machine. me when I saw that dude at my store. That made me think about when you told me, and I was like, wow. And I don't know, maybe because the bodybuilding community in Houston mm-hmm. is kind of on the rise, so maybe guys are trying to you know, train because... It's a possibility. You know, because even like at bodybuilding contests, men are men just like women. They're judged on everything and even they they, they butts, right. you know. Well, and, yeah. and, you know, and I follow a lot of guys on, you know, male bodybuilders on my social media and stuff. And I've kind of noticed it too. It's like, damn, like, these these guys out here are having some, like, big fucking yeah, that's crazy. asses. It's like, <sighs> what, like, damn, where does it... Where does it stop? Right. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to show you this one guy. Look at this cat. I mean, he's all muscle, but. Mm. <laughs> That's too much. That's so too would much. you date a guy with an ass like yours? Mm, not like mine, mm-hmm. but I would, if he had a nice ass, I, I still would date him because I'm going to squeeze it. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys hate that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, certain cer- 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 guys do, but I mean, I'm I'm like this, like, if I know I got a fat <laughs> ass or I got a certain part of my body that's supposed to just like, okay, whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, okay. <laughs> Dang, so, and I got actually, have you ever dated a guy with a, with a big ass? Mm, I'm going to say a, with a big ass, no. Okay. Yeah, not with a nice ass, yes. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. But nothing coming close to like no, your, yeah, your, like, nothing your. that not an ass that like hangs over. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, just you like a nice, like... Uh, firm, but okay for a guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So now I actually like, what would you do if you dating a guy and all of a sudden he working out, his glutes crazy, mm-hmm. to get a bigger ass. I, I mean, I would just want to know, like, in his mind, like, why. Mm-hmm. But if I really care about the dude and like him, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd be bothered by it. Okay. I Fair just need enough. to know what, we got to have a conversation. Like, <laughs> what are you trying to do? Why? Are you, are you competing in a bodybuilding show? Yeah. Or, you know, you a stripper? Right. Let me know yeah. and be open. <laughs> but I'm, I think one of my problems are, is I'm too uh, benefit of the doubt. Gotcha. And I try not, to, I try not to judge because nobody's perfect. Yeah, 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 for sure. So, final question here mm-hmm. as we wrap this up: How um, have you had work done on your ass? No. You sure? I'm positive. Positive. Remember what happened to Pimp and Dan? What the fuck? That supposed to be? Wow! <laughs> Damn, no, you are not. sliced my throat. <laughs> and, and guys, if you don't get that reference, Pimp and Dan is a character in the new movie that dropped on Tubi. Yes. Bis, Bisonette Storm. Uh, our very own here, Miss Blue, go yeah. streaming on Tubi. It's, it's, it's a great watch. Thank you. Uh, okay, so, and people go ask, so what do you attribute your ass being big to? Um, my friend over here uh, buys me a lot of food from time to time. <laughs> Everybody go out and get some star pizza. <laughs> and we were always eating the uh, cha so, I'm oh, talking yeah. about we eat, baby. Um, but eating. Okay. Glutes. 
So yeah, you uh, said about the group machine. Yeah, the gym, I, man. but even then, I remember you told me you should just do them at home. Yeah, you can just do you spots at home. How many? Yeah, you just get you one uh, twenty-five pounder and just start doing your and spots. And lunges, and then like I was you have the stairs, yeah. you could do lunges up and down your stairs. Facts. Uh, several times, and you know that keep it nice and rhymic. So. Damn, second to last question. I'm so, well, actually, this is, will okay. be the final question before we wrap out. So, do you want your ass bigger or, or are you fine where it is now? No, I'm actually okay with where I'm at now. I just want to get, like, tone and definition okay. for, my, for my ass. Um, I don't want to, because here's the thing. It's unfortunate. Women, weight is so crazy. I'm going. I'm losing weight, as you can see. Some mm -hmm. of my, my arms are a lot skinnier, mm -hmm. but sometimes you lose fat in your butt too, yeah. because not all of that your ass fat is good fat. It's like why they say junk in the trunk. Mm -hmm. So you might lose slightly an inch or half an inch. So I want to just build my ass as firm as possible, so that I won't have that issue while I'm cutting everywhere everywhere else. Gotcha. But no, sense. I don't necessarily have to have no big ass. I think I'm 45. 46 maybe yeah and i think i'm like okay my my thing for me has always been my core just being like flatter okay so to wrap this up and speaking of your ass can you can you give us a i knew you was gonna ask me that <laughs> i don't know why i was even was playing with you damn love that outfit one of my favorite outfits of yours yes damn turn to the side that's a good 45. We ain't measured you in a while. We, uh, you right. You be measure. knowing. That's it. You right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you, that's what you got measured for a movie, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They sure said 45. Did. Okay. Yeah, I be knowing. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yes, indeed. Uh, but if you want to support the podcast monetarily, you can uh, reach out to us on Patreon. I'll link in the description for as little as a dollar a month to $3. Um, how can people reach you, Blue? Yes, make sure you uh, follow me at Miss Blue, MZ Blue Radio Show underscore. There we go. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other. We're out of here. Want to help the channel remain upstanding and dedicated to the truth? Then consider becoming a channel patron. The link to our Patreon account is in the description below.